um, almost finished my first year and I've had a good time like I feel like I know I didn't really do the whole like freshers thing but that wasn't what I was in into I sort of wanted to you know get right into university and sort of get right into my studies I did consider going to a sort of you know regular um, after A levels university that most people go to um, but it just I just didn't see a fit I didn't I didn't see me doing that I really want I actually really wanted to go to Birkbeck I was like you know what regardless of what happens I'm going there when I knew that I wanted to do Japanese and going on UCAS and I saw that Birkbeck had Japanese that was really my like okay let's really think about this as a university place to go to I'd never studied Japanese before so it was definitely a first for me in sort of how we're going to get about this and how they're going to break down the language to help us as beginners and it really was pretty amazing. Unless you're in full-time employment you get the opportunity to sort of relax with your studies I personally feel because I don't have to get up super early to rush to an eight o'clock class and then sort of be tired in the afternoon when I could really be sort of consolidating my work. Having that opportunity to go to class and sort of get the information, then you know, go home, relax, chill, go to bed, then sort of wake up in the morning, not be in any rush to go anywhere. And then I can really sit down and go, okay, this is what I've learned, this is where I can apply it, this is what I need to do. So for me, it was a lot more relaxed. Again, with that management side, I have the time to get sort of internships, apprenticeships and sort of work during the day to get that experience so at the end of my degree when I'm looking for jobs they're not like well you spent three years at university and what like having that opportunity to get the experience while I study is definitely like the big plus of coming to Birkbeck. <laughs>